Mosaic will be the biggest and most complex experiment in the Central Arctic ever. We'll be making observations that cut across the full Arctic system, sampling the atmosphere, sampling the ice, sampling the ocean, and how they interact. We'll be on a German icebreaker frozen in the Arctic sea ice, and we'll have scientists from 17 nations engaged in a variety of scientific activities. In September, we'll arrive in the sea ice, We'll be setting up and we'll be racing the sun. As the sun is setting for the season, we'll be trying to install our equipment on the sea ice. As the winter time evolves, it'll be very dark. It'll be a challenge to make our measurements, but it's really important then because we have very few observations in the cold, dark winter season. As we transition towards spring, the sun will come out and the whole system will change in response to that. With the sun changing the energy balance at the surface, changing the sea ice, changing the biological activity that's responding to the sunlight. As we transition towards summer, this is the peak of the melt season, we have a lot of change then. We have 24 hours of sunlight that's putting a lot of heat and energy towards the surface. It's melting the sea ice, it's melting the snow, it's forming melt ponds. And then we transition at the end of summer back into fall where we started to bring back for the full annual cycle and understand how the processes come full year round. The bearing in the Chukchi Sea in the past two or three years has been ice-free until the middle of December, which has not been observed in the climate record. The Arctic climate is warming much faster than the rest of the globe. And the Arctic amplification can happen for many different reasons. Because the ocean's warming up, because the sea ice is getting thinner, because the atmospheric structure is changing, because the cloud cover is changing, and every climate model does it differently. And the data is very limited, even in the Chukchi and Bering Seas, where we do have a lot of shipping and transportation and fishing. We need to have detailed measurements of the fully coupled system. There was a similar campaign that happened about 20 years ago called Sheba, and we learned things during Sheba we had absolutely no anticipation of knowing, such as the fact that there was liquid in clouds at temperatures down to minus 40 degrees Celsius. So what I am mostly excited about is that we're going to learn things that we cannot anticipate at this time.